Magandang araw! Pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ang finite, infinite, and empty or null set. So, i-define na natin ang finite set. A set is a finite set if all of its elements of the set can be listed down. Madaling i-identify at ito ay countable ang elements. Okay, now let us have an example. For number one, we have set A is the set of days in a week. We all know that the days in a week are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So as you see, madaling i-identify, madaling i-list down at countable yung elements ng finite set. Okay, next example for set B, we have the set of natural numbers between 5 and 12. So, ilista muna natin yung mga numbers from 5 hanggang 12. Ito ay 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Ang sabi dito, between 5 and 12 numbers, between 5 and 12. So, ito yon. Pilugan natin. Yan. Madaling ilista or identify. So, our set B consists of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is why it is a finite set. Madaling sabihin, madaling list down or die countable. Now, let us have infinite set. When you say infinite set, a set is infinite set if not all of its elements of the set can be listed down or mahirap mo na siyang i-identify. Okay? Next example, we have for number one, set C is the set of natural numbers. So, we have here, set C consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Masyadong marami. So, yung three dots na yon, meaning, marami pang kasuda na number. At tinatawag natin tong ellipsis. That's why it is infinite. Marami. Okay? Next example, set D is the set of prime numbers. So, we list down here, we have 2, 3, 5, 7, and meron na naman tayo nakitang 3 dots. That's ellipsis. Ibig sabihin, meron pang maraming prime numbers. Hindi siya tumitigil lang sa 7. May kasunod pang mga numbers. That is why ito ay example ng infinite set. Masyadong marami. Next is null set or empty set. It is a set containing no elements and it is denoted by this symbol. Okay, for example, we have set E is the set of whole number less than 0. So, meron bang whole number na mas maliit sa 0? Wala. Ibig sabihin, E is a null or an empty set. Next is set F is the set of cars with two wheels. Meron bang car na may dalawang gulong lang? Oo, wala. So, meaning set F is now or empty set. Okay, walang car na may dalawang gulong. Let us talk the cardinality of a set. Simply, cardinality of a set refers to the number of elements in a given set. So, bibilangin lang natin kung ilan yung elements ng set. At ang tawag doon ay cardinality of a set. Example, yung kanina. Set of days in a week. So, we all know Ang days ng week ay Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, cardinality of set A is equal to tama, 7. Again, cardinality of set A is equal to 7 because there are 7 days in a week. Next example is Set B is the set of natural numbers between 5 and 12. So, yung nasa pagita na natural numbers between 5 and 12 are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And kapag binilang natin to, ito ay 6. So, the cardinality of set B is equal to 6 lang. 6 na numbers lang yun. Okay? Next, decide whether the set is finite set, infinite set, or an empty set. If it's finite, you have to give the cardinality. Example, set of whole number less than 6. So, 
That's the 6, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is a finite set. Ang cardinality niya ay 5. Since there are 5 elements which are less than 6. Set of flying cows. Meron bang flying cow? Oo, walang flying cow. So meaning this is an empty or null set. Now let us have number 3. Set of colors of the rainbow. So we have the Roy GB red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And there are 7 colors of the rainbow. And this is, the answer here is, finite set. And the cardinality is 7 because 7 colors yung rainbow. Okay? Next, we have number 4. We have set of positive numbers. So as we all know, maraming positive numbers, mahirap bilangin, ito ay hindi countable, this is an infinite set. Next number, we have number 5, which is set of even numbers. So we start with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, and so on. So mahirap bilangin, so mean the answer is infinite set. Very good!